I am going to tell you something and I believe I have spoken about this before but I believe it is very important okay What is a very good way to learn about God? I believe reading the Bible and listening to teachings about the Bible, right? Okay, so let's say you are purposely praying purposely reading a Bible, purposely listening to teachings, purposely going around other people who are trying to obey God. So if you are doing those things, I guess another way to say it is seeking God. So if you choose to constantly seek God, I believe you are tuning yourself into God, if you understand what I am trying to tell you. Okay. So I believe if you purposely tune yourself into God, yes, Bad things may come to your mind, but I believe things of God, I believe if there is a problem, I believe your mind may be more ready to, how can I say this? I believe your mind will be more ready to, I guess, advise you to do something that pertains to God. Okay. Let's say you choose to not seek God. Let's say that you are looking at TV shows, movies, listening to radio, music, friends, about adultery, fornication, stealing, cussing, lying, cheating, bad relationship advice. Let's say you are tuning yourself in those things. What do you believe is going to happen? I believe your mind will be more ready to do what is wrong, right? If you choose to tune in to things that are wrong, I believe you are going to be ready to do wrong. If you tune yourself into things that are good, I am not saying, you know, like, Let's say you pray for one minute every two weeks, two weeks, and let's say that you um, pray, I mean, you read the Bible um, for five minutes once a month. That is not, I believe if you do little like that, how are you tuning into God? Like, can that be considered tuning into God? What I am speaking about is like constantly, constantly, like God is a part of your day or perhaps a large part of your day. So if you choose to tune yourself into bad things, would it be a surprise you are having difficulties in trying to obey God? Would it be a surprise? 
Kevin, I keep on falling into sin. Oh yeah? What are you doing? How much are you praying? How much are you reading your Bible? How much are you fasting? How much are you doing those things? Well, Kevin, I'm not really doing those things. If you are not tuning yourself into God, what are you tuning yourself into? Please think about this. Kevin, I need prayer. How about tune yourself into God? Yes, I can pray for you and I have prayed for people. And I will continue to pray for people, but there is something that you must do as well. You must seek God. Listen now. If you are trying to live a godly life, I believe a godly life is a life full of sacrifices. Myself, I believe I have made so many sacrifices and I believe I will make many more sacrifices. The way I am now, I don't think I have ever been this way ever in my life. I believe I am constantly changing. Aren't we supposed to be more like Jesus Christ every day? So if that is true, why would you believe you can stay the same and serve God at the same time? I don't believe that is going to work. Please listen to what I am saying. I used to love anime so much. But I believe I don't watch... I don't think I watch anime anymore. I believe most anime is demonic or has witchcraft or have women dressed in a sexual way or something else bad, perhaps. If I choose to watch stuff like that, let's say, hey, I love God. My heart is toward God. But if I choose to listen and watch bad things, don't you know, I believe I will slowly but surely, or maybe in a fast way, I don't know, but I believe I will get further and further away from God. If the Lord is my strength, or if God is my strength, if I walk away from God, am I still strong? I don't think so, right? What power do I have of myself? Nothing, right? I don't think I have any power. If I do have power, I believe it comes from God. So... Please listen to what I'm saying. I believe I purposely listen to Christian music. I believe I purposely watch and or listen to teachings. I purposely sing Christian songs or I guess I can say or I guess I can say sing to God I purposely try to learn more about God so what am I doing I believe you can say I am seeking God I am trying to stay tuned into God okay let's say you know, let's say I say, hey, for, for some years now, I believe I have, how can I say this? Let's say I have it in my mind. I have prayed enough. I have 
sang songs to God enough. I have read the Bible enough. Let me, for a whole year, let me stop seeking God because I have done it enough. Don't you know, if I do that, I truly believe I will be back into sin. I'm telling you. I believe seeking God, honestly, I believe seeking God is an everyday thing. Kevin, I don't have time to seek God every day because I have work, I have a wife, I have children, you know, I need to make that money. Okay. How long are you going to be on this earth? I don't think, even if you live to 100, what is 100 years to in eternity? If you die, can you take your car to heaven or hell? I don't think so. Can you take your house, your money, your jewelry, your gold ring. Can you take earthly things to heaven or hell? I don't think so. Can you take achievements that don't pertain to God to heaven as in you know I won this reward for being a very good cook can you take that reward to heaven or hell can you take things you earned on this earth that doesn't pertain to God to heaven or hell I don't think so right so if how you perform on this earth will be judged, shouldn't we focus more on that than all this other stuff? If our performance, if our, if our performance is going to be judged, shouldn't we focus more on that than trying to make a whole lot of money? or trying to buy so many cars and stuff like that? I believe so. I believe my main point is, if you keep falling into sin, what are you doing? I don't think it is a surprise. I don't think God is this easy catch, like this easy person to obey. I believe to want to obey God, I think that you have to chase after him. I'm serious. I believe so. I believe if you really want God, I believe you have to constantly chase after God. I hope you have learned something from this. And I am not saying I am perfect. I am not telling you I am better than you. Hey, I am trying to make it to heaven myself. So I don't want that pride stuff or this arrogance or whatever else. I don't want that. So let me stop here. God bless you.